What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and it's time for another narrated Wi-Fi battle. Of course, today's opponent is Robotnik is sexy. If you haven't subbed or seen his type of uploads before, I had a battle against him recently, uh, previously rather, and um, you should go watch that one because it's awesome. And this is our epic rematch, so please go check out his channel because he has just his his content is interesting, his narrations are interesting. And he has really, really crazy uh, thumbnails for his videos where he does all the artwork himself. So anyways though, as you can see in this battle, he has a rain team and I have absolutely nothing for Mega Swampert. So this is a nice little, uh, I guess an exhibition of just my team getting smacked around by Mega Swampert. Um, I even have two Pokemon that are actually relatively useless with Rhyperior and Tiflosion. Just not being able to not, they not only can they not really use their moves, but they just suffer from crippling weaknesses and just being weak to the priority and all sorts of stuff. So uh, I start off with Drapion, seeing that I can get pretty good neutral coverage on everything but his uh, Swampert. And I just went for Swords Dance because I've gone up against Empoleon with Drapion so many times. It's I, That just happens too often. Fortunately for me, he switches out into his Noivern and I'm just able to just knock that thing out of the sky immediately. I really would have liked to KO. Empoleon or put it at a very 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 low HP range, but I will certainly take that KO um, And I don't have anything to hit Swampert with it's mega so my knockoff won't do very much uh, Poison jab is resisted and then my last coverage move is Aqua Tail which would do Kind of meh damage based on Mega Swampert's defenses really not worth staying in on um, For the earthquake so I go out into defensive Starmie Hoping to take the Earthquake better than I do, and I actually take it. I thought he would KO me in one shot. Uh, and I have a choice here. I can either spin away his rocks or get off some mediocre damage on him because this is a defensive Starmie. I just didn't think I would be able to do enough damage to make it worth my time. So I decided to get rid of the rocks to cut down the residual damage against my team. Um, and he puts up rain. So, yeah, this is... This sucks, because the only thing that I have that I can outspeed the Swampert in the rain, uh, Tiflosion may outspeed it because I'm Scarfed, so it depends on his spread. And of course, if I can Mega Evolve my Alakazam, then I'll have Trace, and I'll Trace his Swift Swim. And I know that my opponent knows that, and so I kind of just come here with Tiflosion bluffing, hey, yeah, I can totally outspeed you. And I hit the Breloom, and it, it doesn't do anything because it's Hidden Power Grass, so... I couldn't really risk going for the fire type. I mean, even if I did, the rain would weaken it, so just not very useful overall. Uh, we go on into Rhyperior here. I was hoping that I could take a grass type move. Uh, okay, so I take I take two grass type moves. I get two hits from Bullet Seed, but he gets three. Just Rhyperior, I'm sorry I brought you to this match. This is not a good matchup for you at all, buddy. Uh, so Rhyperior goes down immediately. I do see that my he has a life orb there, which is unfortunate. He probably actually needed that life orb damage to KO um, my Rhyperior like that. But this is okay. I can go on to my um, my Swallow. Unfortunately, I'm kind of forced to U-turn here because there's no way he's going to stay in. Uh, I could have gone for a Brave Bird. I just didn't see it being um, the optimal play at the time, I, I knew he was gonna switch and I really wanted to get the switching priority. Cause now I can have this opportunity to finally Mega Evolve with my Alakazam. And uh, since I know that he's probably a defensive or especially defensive Politoed, I'm not very afraid of him going for um, any of his attacking options. So I go for Psychic and he is definitely especially defensive cause he took that really, really well. And Scald is a two at KO. So yeah, Alakazam, while you did it, did a lot of a good amount of damage to him not not really enough there uh, I was afraid of going for a focus blast onto the Polito because I didn't think it would KO it at that level of HP I figured he would switch into Empoleon but I was just afraid to go for it because if he if I stay if he stayed in and I didn't KO him with the focus blast then he would pretty easily um, take me out with another scald uh, fortunately he switches on to Empoleon and I am hitting the focus blast but he lives with one HP and gets up his stealth rocks again so that means Starmie's sacrifice was in vain and maybe I should have gone for the shadow ball on the switch I don't know that just really sucked because that um, that just did not go how I wanted it to go at all um, and since I have traced drizzle of course I do not outspeed Swampert so that means it's time to sacrifice something else 
to the Swampert deity, and that unfortunately is going to be Swellow. I cannot take a rain boosted stab waterfall from that gargantuan attack stat. Um, now I'm going to bring out Alakazam and threaten him with his own Swiss swim ability. The rain's going to be up for, I think, uh, one more turn. So he basically has to switch out unless he wants to take a ton of damage right here. Uh, and he ends up going out into his low punny, which kind of walls my Alakazam. Uh, I do a lot more damage than I expected, which probably means that he has a lot more special attack. Uh, but I can't lose Alakazam. If I want to have any chance of winning this, I have to have Alakazam to come in to trace the Swiss Swim against his uh, Mega Swampert. Now I bring in Drapion here who gets hurt really, really badly by that Hyper Voice. Um, and the rain does go down as expected. And I do outspeed the Sovian, which is nice. Uh, I guess defensive Drapion just must be more uh, popular because people don't expect Drapion to be fast, even though it has a fantastic base speed stat. I don't quite understand that. Now I do go down to my life orb. That sucks. I would have really liked Drapion to hit Politoed because now I don't have anything to hit Politoed with. And he still has his Breloom, which probably has Mach Punch. The only way I can live this battle is if I KO the Politoed right here, right now. And it doesn't even come close to KOing. It's, it's just really pathetic damage output right there to Flosion. Just, uh, that's just time for weak Pokemon only, really. Um, and so now, unfortunately, since Alakazam is my last Pokemon, and he still has Breloom, there's no way I can win this. Because even if I am able to KO Politoed right here, which I am, just take it out with Psychic. Number one, I can't outspeed Swampert. Number two, Breloom can knock me out with Mach Punch. So I would need some form of priority, which I don't understand why there aren't any Psychic priority type attacks. At least I could teleport a Spoon and hit him in the eye with it. I don't know. Just... Why I just brought the wrong team to that match. I came to the wrong neighborhood for that battle. But even so, I think I did pretty well for having two basically useless Pokemon that match. Not a bad loss at all. I hope you guys enjoyed that match and getting to see an exhibition of Mega Swampert in action. And I will see you all later. Bye bye now.